So I know this isn't how I usually wind up starting videos on uh, w Windows, but I want to show something off since there are a lot of people who make some claims about the Windows console host that isn't quite accurate. The common thing you wind up hearing is that it does not support Unicode properly. Well, that's, that's embarrassing. Oh my god. There we go, though. If you didn't realize this, that's Cyrillic. Specifically, Privyet, uh, or are high in Russian. Uh, this would be how I, in um, in the Anglan Futrak, but let, let's face it, most most fonts don't have the runes in them. Um, but this printed out correctly and not as Mojibake, so this is good. Now, I'm not going to need this anymore because I'm going to explain how this actually works and, very importantly, that this works in Ida, sort of. You'll see what I mean in a bit. Actually, I can, I can run it in here as well. Oh, I already did. Yeah. Forgot it saves that. Okay, but yeah, you can see on uh, uh, running inside of something that actually supports font, font substitution. You see, hala or hala, hala, something like that. Hala, uh, hello, it just really old, old, old Anglan stuff. Uh, I I did this because this is not. Uh, this is like way outside of the typical range that thing supports. So if it would print this correctly, then I'm golden. Um, basically, I've extended the console interface to do some stuff that Windows needs to do when directly outputting to the console. And I'll explain a little bit, but uh, I... I because the interface I had already implemented, like if we go into here, um, because it's so much similar to just the normal file I.O., uh, it made sense to implement the the little backend stuff as just a specific Windows package. Uh, the spec, this is one reason I really like that uh, Ada has different specs and bodies. The spec can be shared uh, between the two, and then just a different body is implemented for the relevant system. Now, I, I kept the old one under just sort of like Unix because it'll it should work without modification on any of the Unix systems and Linux. Uh, this is just specifically for Windows. Um, but the the uh, the spec, the interface, the thing that you bind to is exactly the same. Uh, regardless, so uh, this winds up being portable between the two. Um, how this actually works, right Right now a lot of these are just stubs until I figure out exactly how to, how to do it, but um, there's some initialization that actually needs to be done that people aren't aware of. Uh, now, if you're a C or C++ programmer, you should actually recognize all of this. Um, maybe uh, you'll recognize a few of the, the, the um, like functions and macros and stuff, just not. Uh, some of it's rather Windows-specific. See, on, on Unix systems, you don't really need to worry about this. Basically, everything is just uh, UTF-8 anyways, and as long as you're working with UTF-8, you're golden. Windows, largely because of its market share and some other things, winds up having to accommodate for 
a lot, including a lot of old legacy code. So you still see code pages exist in Windows. They just also implemented UTF-8 and UTF-16 and UTF-32 as code pages. It's kind of ridiculous, but I... Unfortunately, I agree from a business standpoint why they do it. It's horribly complicated from a technological one, but... Uh... But yeah, anyways, the um, take advantage of a package initializer. So these are automatically run the moment the package is initialized. Nobody needs to call these. These are just done when the program is loaded and this package is initialized behind the scenes. You don't need to do any setup. It just works, which is always really nice. Um, the other thing that's done... Uh, where, where does it start? Where's the first put? Oh yeah, here. Um, the character is converted. That's the other important thing. And then just called, uh, actually placed there through the standard F put WC in the, um, in the Windows, what is it, the CRT, CRL, the C runtime library. Um, I use so many NAT specific features anyways that I'm not really worried about using the enum rep attribute, which is NAT specific anyways, because there, there, so many of the packages here are not going to build on any of the other compilers anyways. It's like, I'm, all right, all right, I'm already in deep, let's, let's just keep using the NAT specific stuff, but uh, this little thing basically just winds up converting the character to just the code point for use with fputwc. And yeah, the rest of the behavior is synthesized on top of this, but that's that's basically it. Um, now that the Windows console host actually supports some of the escape sequences, it would be possible to do uh, some of the things, like you can see down here, the uh, cursor stuff is completely stubbed out. Uh, it would be possible to implement at least the move cursors. I'm not sure about save and restore. Um, and it would be possible to implement a uh, foreground, at least for the standard 16 colors. I'm not sure exactly how much console uh, host supports yet. Uh, and I'm not sure what modifiers they've implemented either. But, yeah, um... It, it's rather funny because this is something that a lot of developers had said is actually a deficiency within the Windows console host, and you could you could clearly see the text is written out properly. Uh, it should actually, yeah, it's clearly UTF-8 going out. Um. What am I looking for? You can further confirm this by the you know, the, the uh, wide character encoding UTF-8 uh, flag that's set there. That's scattered through all of my stuff. Uh, the whole thing is just entirely UTF-8 whole way through. And it, it works. Like you can see, I'm not, I'm not changing the code pages and then at any trickery like that. This whole thing is just ordinary UTF-8 like you would want to see anywhere else. And it just works. It's not that the Windows console host was deficient. It's that people were going at it, expecting it to behave uh, the um, standard in, standard out, and standard error. Uh, as if they were files like they are in Unix, but they're not. They are. Uh, they still implement the stream as they have to, but they're an object in Windows that has some stuff that needs to be set up 
makes it a bit more powerful, but also really awkward to use, and unfortunately it's not documented as well as it should be. Um, this is... If you've ever tried to interact with the console using the standard uh, text I.O. facilities, you'll know, you would have noticed uh, Mojivaka or other issues, like I know there's an exception that can be erased if, through certain combinations, uh, and it won't print out anything at all. Um, they blame that on the console host. Obviously, it is not the console host that is the problem. Uh, I, I basically wound up discovering all of this, trying to solve the issue, because I had uh, quite a bit of experience with C-sharp and never wound up into it with uh, issues like I was running into with Ida and uh, UTF, or any Unicode um, text. And, and I, was, I was adamant it was a problem with NAT, that the deficiency was in NAT. And uh, through this whole process, I actually found it. Uh, I'm going to be filing a bug report and... Um, See where we go from there. It's knowing the way the GCC development process is. It's probably going to be uh, blamed again on the Windows console host. So then I'll implement a patch and see if they accept that. But just knowing them, even despite this proof right here that it's not the console host's fault, it's unfortunately probably going to be blamed on the console host. Um, Throughout this whole process, I've already filed five bug reports related to this, and they all just get say, "Nope, it's it's the console host. They don't know what they're doing." And clearly, clearly, it's fine. So, if you're doing normal file stuff on Windows, you don't need to worry about it. The uh, text I/O stuff is going to work fine. Uh, this was implemented specifically in the console package just because it deals with setup of console host. That's that's it. You really only need to use this for uh, interacting with the command prompt or PowerShell under Windows. Um, hopefully this serves as a reference for uh, anybody who's trying to implement this kind of stuff properly in other languages as well.